I'm here at the Lions Research Farm with Mary Duan from UCD Veterinary School. Mary's going to talk to us about the care of the newborn calf and how important it is to treat and go through all the important procedures post-birth. Mary, what are you doing now with this calf? Okay, what we're doing now, we've just calved this, this calf. He's on deck. He's, he's just a couple of minutes old. We've made sure that his airways are clear and that he's breathing. And the most important thing to do now is to dip the navel. And uh, I know some of you guys out there will be spraying navels and you'll be doing all sorts of things. You need to dip them. So I'm going to use a cup and I'm going to use this tincture of iodine. It's very important to use a, a, a solution. This is a 2.5% tincture of iodine and to use a strong tincture. Uh, the sprays don't do enough. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just grab his navel and just make sure I get the whole navel and the whole end of it. And I'm going to really wet it. I'm going to give it a vigorous cleansing. And you can see that, that this is because there's alcohol in it, it's, it's stinging a bit. So that is the only way to dip a navel. Sprays uh, of any sort are generally ineffective. Now this calf is at his most vulnerable for the next few hours. So our calf husbandry and calf rearing starts now. We do 90% of our calf rearing by making sure his navel is dipped and then the next thing that we want to do is make sure that this calf has at least three litres of good quality colostrum on board. Uh, this heifer now, we'll show you her later, uh, has calved a little bit early and she doesn't have uh, her own natural colostrum. Here in the farm we store colostrum so I'll thaw some and I'll feed this calf three litres uh, before I'm finished today. How soon after birth do you need to get the colostrum into the calf? As soon as possible but certainly within the first six to eight hours. As the, the, the calf's gut is open now to take in these antibodies that the colostrum has. So as his gut is open, the, these antibody globulins, if you look at them, are quite big and they can get through the gut. And that gateway is only open for the first six to eight hours. So the only way to be sure that the calf gets enough colostrum is to, to, to make sure that he drinks it from a bottle uh, or to stomach tube it into him. Okay. And stomach tube or bottle, or is there an, does it matter once the... Uh, what's your preference in terms of how to get the colostrum into the calf? My preference would be for him to suck it and to drink it because it's a more natural response. Also, his, his esophagus here, there's a chemical in, in, this esophag in, in, in his own system that recognises its milk and it'll allow the milk to go into his correct stomach, which is his, his abomasum. And just after the calf was born, uh, we, we talked about the use of the calving jack. I think it's important to stress the proper use of the calving jack in terms of not rushing, and you were using it. You might explain to us how you use the calving jack to get that calf. Once we have a calf here with an anterior presentation, his head is out, his nose is out. If he takes a breath, he's breathing air, or trying to breathe air. So we don't need to rush. You know, on most calvings, there's no great urgency. It is an urgency if the calf is coming backwards, and as soon as the navel gets squeezed, his head is now deep in the cow, and he will in inhale. So it is important to get those calves out as quickly as possible once you get past past the, the hind leg end. If we just went in in a big hurry, run in, jack, 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 and whip him out, uh, we're actually tearing the heifer. So what's happened is we've injured her, and her potential for going in calf again. Um, has been reduced. So we're going to take it nice and quietly, work quietly around the animal, no stress, no excitement. Uh, like it's a natural event. Okay, and immediately after the calf was born, this calf, you know, he was under a bit of pressure. What steps did you take immediately after it was born to make sure he started breathing straight away? The first thing I did was to check that, that, that uh, his airway was clear. Uh, you know, like the, the, the CPR guys will tell you ABC, air, airway and breathing. So I wanted to make sure that was, that was clear. It was. What I did then was I pinched his nose here very, very tight, and you can see this calf is, is reacting. And in here, th this eh, sucky. In here, there's a little acupoint, acupressure point there. And as you squeeze it, it makes the calf go. <gasps> so this works quite well. The same principle, just sticking a straw up their nose works quite well. I just rubbed them down briskly. I mean, you know, the cow's natural response when the calf goes out is she's licking him up and down here along the back. You're massaging him, you're getting the blood flow going, you're getting his heart moving, and uh, it's, it's a natural stimulus, stimulus for him to get up. Like, you'll just see as I do that, his instinct there is, I'm going to get up. Okay, thank you, Mary. We're going to let you be now to get the claustrum into this guy, and he's starting to look up and look healthy, so yes. it's a good start to life. So thank you, Mary.